Hello, my name is Morgan Jackson, and I'm the director of Faith Comes by Hearing, and I'm so happy to be with you today as we listen through Luke 7 through 8. Now, in this section of Scripture, there are so many miracles going on. There's the story of the sower. But what I want to focus on is where Jesus calmed the storm and the waves in Luke 8, 22 through 25. This story has a great impact on me because of a little girl in the Philippines. Her family was in disarray. The father was an alcoholic or drunk. The violence in the home led her mom to leave, and she abandoned her little girl to the house with this violent, drunken father. So she often left the house and came to her grandfather's home. Now in this home, they received a proclaimer, an audio Bible, and had a listening group. And so she would join in listening to the Bible in her mother tongue. One day as she was listening, she heard this scripture in Luke. And as Jesus calmed the storm, she in her life recognized she was in the midst of a storm. And she was afraid, like the disciples, of drowning. But Jesus said to the disciples, where is your faith? And this little girl put her faith in Jesus at that time, knowing that Jesus was in her boat and that he would take her through the storm. She began to pray, and then she invited her father and mother separately to the listening group. Both of them, as they heard scripture in their own mother's tongues, repented, accepted Christ, and their marriage was restored. And I just love how this little girl understood that Jesus, in the midst of the storm, she did not have to be afraid. So the question today is, what are the storms of life around you? Do you believe? Do you have faith? Or are you just saying, I'm going to drown? The Lord is with you and you are not. So have faith. Put your faith in Jesus. No matter what storm you see, don't call out to him in fear, but call out to him in faith and invite him to rescue you. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, as we are in the midst of our storms, we know you are in our boat. You are with us. And Lord, as we call out to you, I ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you would give us confidence and peace and wisdom on how to walk through with you through this storm. We ask this in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen.